Hey, welcome back. It's July 2nd, Friday night. I am uh, really excited. We're headed to the range right now for the first match of Summer League. Oh, that'll be on the X, okay. Okay. And in the box, right? In the box, back against the seat back, okay. and hands locked behind your, inter interlaced behind your head. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. Finish and load and show clear. 2406. One more. I lost my dot in there. Oh, I believe oh, it. Yeah. Can't see anything. Yeah, I lost it. I was like, wait, where did it go? Okay. I don't. Make ready. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, that sounds brutal, man. Right. <laughs> Stand by. They'll probably let you do it. Let me make sure my dots turned all the way up too. I huh. I don't like how not bright that is. Is uh, the red light on by any chance? Can you see? Uh, yes, it is okay, on. Okay, perfect. Right. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Oh, where'd it go? Finish and load and show clear. There was your dad. All right, so we finished the match. Uh, I'm the last time slot tonight, so we actually helped clean up the range, cleaned up the whole stage, which was cool. And some takeaways I'm thinking about are both times when I had the start, which was at a table. Uh, your gun was loaded and on the table, your arms are behind your head, you're sitting in a chair, and when the timer went off, you jumped to your feet or grabbed the gun and shoot from a seated position. I think everyone elected to shoot standing up. The problem was I shot very last, and I should have thought of this, but every time I shot, the sun was in my eyes. So both times, as soon as I uh, aimed at the first target, I lost my dot in the sun. So uh, that was kind of the, the problem area. Um, apart from that, I was really happy with how my movement went. 
my, my plan, the way that I um, shot the first four targets, semi on the move um, after leaving the table, and then I was able to engage through the port, hit both targets, and then hit the last single steal, single shot target while backing up to the next position. I'll have to watch the video, but my plan was to shoot while backing up as soon as I hit that target to turn with like this and face forward and run up so I didn't break the 180 and then engage the target through the last port without having to put my gun through the port because obviously you're losing time if you're putting your gun through the port. So definitely a bit rusty, but overall uh, happy with my performance kind of frustrated about the sun makes me wonder if I need something like one of those Seymour RTS 2 I think is what uh, they're called I know Pops is using those now and he was saying that he likes it because you can turn the dot brightness down and in effect make the dot smaller that way or if you turn it all the way up um, on a on a stage and on a time like this, obviously, then you're able to just see through almost anything. So for reference, I think I shot at nine, like 9 p.m. or 9.05 p.m. And the, the, the range is facing west. So uh, the sun was setting, but uh, I also am going to roll in some footage of the range manager, I believe he is. I'm not exactly sure his job title, but uh, he he runs everything. And he's also an avid competitor. So I've got him giving another competitor uh, lessons on movement, impromptu lessons on movement and how to move your feet and shoot on the move. So I'll roll some of that footage in too. Make sure my sights are aligned. Are you shooting that first one? Yep. Okay. Yep. All okay. Right. And then as I roll uh -huh. right there, bang, I finish my trigger pull. Okay. And you shot I, went I, off right there. Yep. When I reset, I prep my trigger. Who's our next shooter? And as soon as that toe is down and I'm stable, bang. Me, 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 me. Prep, bang. Prep, bang. Good. You ready? bang. I drag my feet. He said moonwalk. The reason is <laughs> I don't want to cross my feet. So if I'm walking backwards, it's... Because if you cross your feet... I can end up on my butt. Yep. ND points super gun on somebody. So yeah. Or... Uh, I turn uh, my gun over my shoulder and... Run forward. Run forward, yeah. Okay, to go. Hopefully, you guys find that interesting. Anyway, uh, good day at the range. Uh, thinking about this coming week doing Tuesday night USPSA. It's kind of been the goal ever since I started the leagues was to eventually roll into USPSA. Uh, the only problem is for me that USPSA events here on a Tuesday night which for me once work starts is really difficult i'm not sure if i'd be able to swing that or not but being that it's summertime i can do that and give it a shot and hopefully hopefully I have a better idea by the end of the summer if that's something i can continue once i go back to work or it's just something that'll have to be a summer thing i hope it's not i'd really like to finish the summer league and just go exclusively into USPSA events, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. It's good to be back into it. Drop any comments you want, any questions. Uh, pretty much made my day today that I had two viewers on my carry optics rig video just asking lots of questions, interested about in getting into competition shooting. And as I've said before, that's one of the reasons I started this channel was I was inspired by Pops Quest, who got me into it and kind of gave me the, the uh, impetus to dip my toe and jump into this. So hopefully I can do the same thing for other people. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I sure appreciate it.
sure appreciate all the viewers everyone you all contribute and make this channel what it is so feel free to drop them below i love it thanks for joining me on the journey lw road out happy independence day fellow patriots nice and the trick is to aim a little bit above it okay, you guys and start put a little bit of pressure side. on it because you're rolling the sticker onto the target you put some pressure on it with that all right so just above it got it hey, Is that it? There's one more.